Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you 15, 15 travel essentials according to my list. Some of these are different than the items you've maybe seen before in a different video. I will get straight into it. First off, we have a tripod because, you know, I'm a vlogger now. And also just for picture taking, I have this very compact tripod and camera stabilizer. So it's rechargeable, it folds open like this. And then you can put your phone in here. It has two of these clasps that'll expand so your phone fits out. <laughs> You'll hear that noise. And it stabilizes this thing. So you can move your camera all over the place but your phone will stay in the same position. You can also turn off this feature and then lock the standard. And then when you open the bottom like this, it becomes a tripod. So yeah, you can just still move this to adjust the angle. So I can also do like top view videography. It also comes with this handy dandy little thing that just slides in and out. It's a little clicker, so this connects via Bluetooth to my phone and when I click the button, it'll either take a picture or start recording a video, which I think is very nice considering I am not confident enough to ask people to take pictures of me. <laughs> so yeah, I got this. It's nice and compact so it'll fit in my purse and everything. And speaking about purses, I did want to mention I do really like bringing, what do you call this? A sling bag? This one I got at a concert, so it's obviously branded. It has this very big main compartment. On the inside, you also have a mesh pocket and a Velcro strip, just in case you have something you want to keep safe. And if you need extra space, this one actually also has a compression zipper. So you can open this up and give yourself some extra space at the bottom. You have one zip pocket at the front and one mesh pocket at the front as well. So I like this uh, because when you're traveling, you want something close to you where you can keep your important documents like your passport and your cards. Um, and I also wanted to share with you, this is the one that I use. This is where my passport is. So I have my passport in here and it's just a sleeve. So it's a black leather sleeve. This is my protective case for my passport. I did want to add that on the list because not everyone has it. And if there's something I think is really a waste of money, especially because passports are not cheap. I don't know where you're from, but at least from the Netherlands, they're not cheap. If the corner is folded, I would be so sad. But this is my passport, so it protects them from scratches and folding and just general damage. Another black case. This one is considerably bigger. So just for reference, this is the passport cover and that's the other folder. Basically, this is a document organizer. You have some slots here for cards. You have a bigger pocket over here and even in the back you have two big pockets. So what I'll be keeping in here is mostly my well, important documents such as my visa documents, place I'm staying with the address both in English and in Korean. I'll be keeping in here just anything basically that needs to stay together so I can get through immigration as easily as possible and I just know where my documents are. These fit very nicely into my... I want to keep my important documents very close to me. Is from... Can you see that? <laughs> Samsonite. I don't know if it's visible because it's black on black. I have here a case. This one is a new addition. I've never actually traveled with this and this might be like a huge waste of space but I've also never traveled with my electric toothbrush and I was very worried about where to put my electric toothbrush and all of the refills and how I would keep this organized especially because I'm moving and not just going on a little vacation. So I got this case 
make sure if you fold it open it has a nice slot for your electric toothbrush and also for two of the heads then it also has on the other side a mesh pocket where you can keep floss toothpaste but you can also put like the refills in little packages in there so it's all together i like this i think it's still compact and it'll protect my electric toothbrush very well and it's just easy to put somewhere and know exactly where my toothbrush is i have this one it's a little thin pouch and well you can see on the signs this is meant for cable organization so on this side you have a velcro strap where you can put all of the cables in between you have a little divider over here with a little mesh pocket i will probably keep in here my sd card and my camera battery then on this side you also have a zipper pocket for more cables or even a portable charger if you have it, it fits in there usually i'm the type of person who will just shove her cables in at the last possible moment because i wanted everything to be charged before i leave and then i'll just shove them at the top of my bag and hope that i'll find them when i need them this time around i wanted to be more prepared and be more organized so i got an actual pouch for my cables next up we have this little case you've probably seen this before uh, because a lot of people show this for their travel essentials um, but it's a jewelry case this one is pretty small because I don't really wear a lot of jewelry I have um, two necklaces that I wear a lot and then I have a couple of rings that's basically all of the jewelry I wear I really like this because I don't carry a lot of jewelry but it's easier to have it in a little case than to do what I usually do, which is just wear every single item of jewelry that I'm going to bring to the airport. <laughs> I know these days you don't really have to take off your jewelry anymore when you go through security, so technically that could still work. Um, but I think now because I'm staying for six months instead of a short vacation of a week, I just thought it would be easier to have it organized in a little case. Is what I have here is this little baby. <laughs> It's very cute. It has all of these teddy bears. Um, this is a uh, female only. Uh, you won't need this if you're a guy, but um, it's just very discreet. You can keep your pads in there. That's all it is. It's just a little pad pouch, but I know that I get very uncomfortable when I'm bringing a pad to the bathroom. So I can just grab the pouch, go to the bathroom. You know, no one will know. Maybe I'm just patching up my makeup. You don't know. <laughs> just imagine that you didn't see this video. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I have my portable charger. This one is from Fresh and Rebel. I don't actually know how much capacity this one does have. But I would recommend this not even as a travel essential, but as a life essential. If you're like me and your phone dies just like every five seconds. Um, this comes in very handy and especially if you're going to a different country where you don't know the way it is just nice to have a phone on you you can call anyone you can look up anything uh, especially when it comes to going to a country where you don't speak the language just having a phone around is very handy then uh, my next tip is to bring noise cancelling headphones I have the Beats Studio 3. You don't have to spend that much money on a, on a headset. To be fair, I got this as a free gift when I bought my first MacBook, I think. The pillows were very worn down and I was actually in the market earlier this year for a new headset. But I actually figured something out and that is that you can just purchase new pillows for the inside of your beads and well as you can see mine look brand spanking new and I didn't spend a lot of money on replacing them these are the ones that I use they're very comfy they're over the ear I would not recommend on the ear they're gonna hurt your ears so much you know especially on long flights I'm gonna be on the plane for about 
10 to 11 hours. Um, I'm someone who's pretty sensitive to sound, so I just wanted to have a headset that would just cancel out all of the noise. Now, there is something that I wanted to add to this list, which I currently do not own, but I do kind of want to buy before I leave, and that is a little Bluetooth transmitter that you can plug into the airport's TV and um, you can actually connect your Bluetooth headset to them. You don't have to um, use the headphones that are provided by the airline because everybody knows they're not comfortable. In the same theme of noise cancellation, um, I would also highly recommend you invest in a good pair of earplugs. That's the word. I got these ones from a Loop. They're very small. Um, they look very stylish <laughs> and they're not even that much uh, more expensive than the moldable ones that you will throw away after vacation and these you can reuse a bunch of times. I actually already use them on basically a day-to-day -day basis um, on the bus. I use these earplugs and they fit perfectly inside of my ear. They come also with like seven different attachments, like different sizes that can fit your ear perfectly. So it kind of just looks like this. I don't know if it's incorrectly, but... And it blocks out, I think, 40% of the noise in your surroundings. To be fair, if I'm wearing these and then putting on my headset, I can't hear anything <laughs> but my own voice. So, I mean, especially for on a plane or a train or anywhere where you just want to zone out. Warning though, uh, you might get jump scared a lot. I know that even when I'm just wearing my noise cancelling headphones and I'm doing the dishes, um, my mom will be calling me and I will not hear her and she'll just randomly tap me on the shoulder and it my heart will jump out of my throat. The next thing I have, which I've also invested in for the first time, the luggage scale. What I used to do is I would um, weigh myself on the scale, on a regular scale, and then because my suitcase wouldn't fit on the scale, I would first weigh myself and then hold my suitcase and then subtract my body weight from the weight on the scale and then that would be the weight that my luggage is. It's an interesting method. Um, I would not recommend because it's not very accurate. That made me think I might need a luggage scale. This one is very simple. You just hook this thing onto the strap of your luggage. You just snap it closed. Then you turn it on with this button. Once you lift up your luggage, the strap gets pulled and the screen will show you. This will come in handy because I'm a chronic overpacker. I think although because I've been planning this trip for so long, it might not be the case this time. I'm capable of underpacking this time. This is an honorable mention because I don't actually use this. It is a neck pillow. I know a lot of people enjoy wearing a neck pillow on the plane because it's more comfortable to sleep. I have two reasons why I don't use a neck pillow. The first reason being, it still hurts my neck. <laughs> no matter what position I put this pillow in, it'll either choke me or it'll just like hurt my neck because it's in an uncomfortable, unnatural position. The second reason why I don't use it is because I breathe through my mouth a lot when I'm sleeping and that's because my nose gets really stuffy when I put my head down and so because the neck pillow is around your neck uh, when my head leans it also blocks off a bit of my airway and it makes it even harder for me to breathe while I'm sleeping. What my solution for a better sleep on a plane is and it's a very simple solution it doesn't make my sleep necessarily better it just makes it easier for me to fall asleep and stay asleep and that is using an inhaler so this one is from dampo it's an inhaler but it also has uh, drops at the bottom that you can put in a napkin and breathe in 
you also have them from VIX, you have them from different brands. Anyways, it's a, it's a nasal inhaler, so you just untwist the cap and you just sniff it. It just opens up your airways, makes it easier to breathe. Because my nose gets so stuffy right before I get, get to fall asleep, I am taking this on my trip. As I mentioned before, <laughs> I am a chronic mouth breather, so I don't have the most charming pictures of me on a plane. I most of the time literally sleep, head back, mouth open. Flying with my family, it's fine. I don't really care about what I look like when I'm sleeping. What I'm more worried about is that I'm going to be alone, sitting next to other people, and I just really don't want to bother them with any of my issues <laughs> so basically i'm bringing masks i was bringing these masks anyways because um air quality in korea can be pretty poor so i was gonna bring face masks anyways because i'm gonna be needing them i promise i'm more charming when i sleep like just in a bed but <laughs> on the plane in a car Absolutely not. My head will fall back, my mouth will fall open. It's like <laughs> the least charming sight ever. <laughs> you know, when I'm in the plane, I can just be like sleeping here. Nobody will know that my mouth is open. This is such a TMI. But I can just like sleep here. Nobody will be suspecting a thing. I don't really snore, so I guess I won't be bothering people with that. These are like the the FFP2 version or something like that. I mean, they're like good particle filtration. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, these are the good masks. I bought the proper masks. I also have another um, suggestion that I currently do not have, but I am thinking of investing in and that is an air tag or any tracker of that kind. Um, so you can put one in your suitcase. I know there's a lot of people who are very worried and maybe have experienced it before that their luggage got lost. I am hoping on getting a tracker device that I can just put in my suitcase so I can get a notification on my phone whenever I lose my bag or my suitcase or anything because I'm gonna be in a country where I just don't know the way properly and it's gonna be so much harder to retrace my steps if I lose something. The Apple ones are four for a hundred bucks, which is kind of expensive. Um, but you can also get ones from Tile. They are a bit cheaper. I think they are like 50 or 60 for four. Um, and there will probably be like substitutes on Aliexpress or I don't know Amazon that are even cheaper than that So I would just look around do your research But a tracker is definitely something I would recommend. I actually think that's everything I had for today Those are my travel essentials. Please leave it in the comments down below if you have any suggestions for my travel essentials to like add something to it and um, I mean you will see all of these items back in my pack with me vlog and i hope you very much enjoyed this episode of um guide to study abroad and i will see you in the next one bye bye